For RCR Wireless News, I'm Sean Kinney here with Mike Coyado from Corning at Mobile World Congress to get a little bit of an update on uh, what trends you're seeing at the show and how Corning fits into the space. So Mike, obviously 5G, IoT, all big topics here. What's the outlook from Corning's perspective? Yeah, well, yeah, a, a cold and snowy Mobile World Congress 2018 this year. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, like last year, we're, we're seeing a lot of the mega trends manifest. Uh, 5G and densification, of course. Um, a little bit less visionary this year, a little bit more of a search for the techno business use case um, for 5G. Internet of Things, of course, is, is playing strong. Uh, you know, connected cars, a lot more cars this year than in previous years. Uh, and, uh, of course, AR, VR, and, and artificial intelligence. I mean, as far as Corning's position is, is that we're, we're, we're somewhat unique in that we really touch uh, the wireless world or your, your connected world, which is really informed by increasingly, it, it's, it's informed by wireless and mobility uh, in one way, shape or form or the other. And, uh, you know, whether it's uh, on our mobile devices uh, with, with our Gorilla Glass or wearables, um, again, our, our glass products, the emails that you would send, uh, you know, are transferred through our uh, our infrastructure, our fiber infrastructure, to the calls that make uh, through the, the cabling under underground, uh, and so you know we, we we play a very strong role in enabling this uh, this new connected world. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting point. As you walk the show floor here, you see a lot of operators and you see a lot of device makers. So between Corning's materials group and the optical group very much involved with the majority of the ecosystem that's represented here. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, you recall last year, uh, you know, Corning and Verizon have, have, uh, have, have struck a, a, an important deal in order to, to help enable the rollout of 5G for Verizon. Uh, Saudi Telecom and Corning recently uh, announced a, a partnership to uh, roll out Saudi Telecom's fiber to the home. Uh, deployment, and so uh, you know we, we do play that that critical role uh, in the macro network, in the devices, uh, as as well as inside the buildings. Yeah, you know I'm glad you brought up in building because on a stage like this, it sometimes gets difficult to separate the hype from the reality. But one thing that is very much a reality is the need for in building wireless connectivity. And that's not going away anytime soon. It's such a vast addressable market. What are you guys yeah. doing to reach deeper into the enterprise? Well, you know, we, we believe, yeah, we, we agree with that statement. Again, our connected world really takes place inside the building and that it's, it's not just about RF, it's also about IP. And I think that's being informed by Internet of Things and just this uh, magnitude of things that need to be connected. And so, you know, and our, our vision is, is that uh, fiber is the, the perfect medium for uh, converging both RF and, and IP uh, applications, services, and, and devices. Um, you know, further that, that you're going to need fiber uh, as really a, a, an infrastructure that lasts the lifespan of the building um, that's going to be nimble and scalable to be able to support things that we know about and things that we don't quite yet know about. Um, again, thinking ahead to 5G, the, the, the capacity, but also uh, the, the low capacity or low bandwidth to connect all those uh, Internet of Things types of devices inside the building. Um, certainly, you know, cellular plays an important role and with our uh, acquisition of SpiderCloud earlier last year. Uh, you know, we've got a broad portfolio to be able to support cellular enhancement, both with our, our DAS solutions as well as uh, the small cell. Um, and I think, you know, one of the the, the big topics this week has been uh, alternative RAN solutions. You know, the, the operators, as well as the enterprise, are really looking for more cost-effective ways of uh, enabling cellular enhancement. And that informs that it's not going to be about base stations, it's going to be more about uh, CRAN types of solutions or virtual BBU, BBU types of solutions. And uh, you know, Corning's in a, in a very enviable position right now as one of just a handful of, of RAN vendors uh, that are approved at the carrier to currently enable cellular enhancement as a signal source. So far this week, I've heard the acronyms CRAN, VRAN, ORAN, and XRAN. So obviously, the RAN space is very dynamic right now. Yep. But when it comes to selling into the enterprise, do you think that the concept of a virtualized RAN is something that is approachable to a typical CIO for a, a commercial real estate trust, for instance, or is that maybe a little bit down the road? 
I think it's a little bit down the road. I mean, right now, um, the, the building owner is concerned about leasing and it's about the tenant experience. And so, uh, you know, in or, and, and as cellular becomes more of a requirement, uh, then, then, then it becomes more important for them to address. I think the bottom line is, 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 is uh, the enterprise is going to look for solutions that are more IP based, um, that are simple, that are cost effective to deploy. Uh, and again, these signal source solutions, these alternative signal source solutions are, are moving in the right direction. And then just, I want to circle back one more time. I read a report the other day out of Accenture that said that U.S. investment in fiber over the next seven years is sort of some in the neighborhood of $750 billion. So I think right now Corning's in the process of building 11 new factories just because the demand is out of sight. But I think you guys are ready to address this wave of investment, right? Yeah, it's, it's good to be Corning. Uh, right now. Uh, the fiber is, is going to be absolutely paramount. Uh, Verizon's called that out uh, in, in the, the deal that they've done with us. Uh, fiber is going to be absolutely paramount for the rollout of, of 5G. Uh, and we believe inside the building as well, uh, particularly on the horizontal, increasingly we're going to see more fiber to the edge types of deployments to enable just that, uh, that magnitude of new devices and applications that, that need to be uh, supported inside the building. Well, Mike, I really appreciate you taking a moment to catch us up with what Corning's doing and to give us your thoughts on Mobile World Congress. Great to see you as always in Barcelona.